Freedom is not given, it is taken. It is blood alone that can pay the price of freedom. Give me blood, I promise you freedom. Namaste. On occasion of Parakram Divas to commemorate the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, I, Suparna Perumal, English teacher, Mangala Vidya Mandira, take privilege to talk about India's iconic and enigmatic freedom fighter. Subhash Chandra Bose, a revolutionary and a nationalist who continues to inspire millions of Indians, was born in Katak, Orissa, to Jankinath Bose, who was a successful lawyer and Prabhavati Devi on 23rd January 1897. He was the ninth child of the 14 children. He received an unusually Anglo-centric education. His teenage and young adult years were scattered with brilliant academic success, oversized religious yearning and stark rebellion against authority. Sent to England at his father's urging to take Indian civil service examination, he succeeded with distinction but returned to India in 1921 to join the nationalist movement led by Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian National Congress. Bose rose to become Congress President in 1938. In July 1940, he was arrested by the Bengal government over a small protest. In mid-January 1941, he escaped from India and arrived in Nazi Germany. In late May 1942, he left in a submarine and reached Saigon. There, he took over command of the Indian National Army from Raj Bihari Bose and formed the RZ Hukumat-e Azad Hind in 1943. It was Netaji who adopted Janaganamana as the national anthem of Azad Hind, which then inspired the Constituent Assembly to adopt it as an, our national anthem. March 1944, the INA reached India and raised their flag for the first time on Indian soil in Kohima. In a motivational speech of Indian National Army Rally of Indians in Burma on 4th July 1944, Bose's famous quote, Give me blood, I shall give you freedom. He urged people to join him in his fight against British Raj. On 6th July 1944, in a speech broadcasted by Azad Hind Radio from Singapore, Bose addressed Mahatma Gandhi as father of nation and asked for his blessings to fight against the British Raj. They also were given the Andaman and Nicobar Island, which were renamed Shaheed and Swaraj. But alas, these victories were short-lived. The Japanese were losing and could not support the INA. We lost an iconic leader and revolutionary at a young age of 48 years due to a third degree burn on 18th August 1945 after his plane crashed in Japanese-ruled Formosa, present-day Taiwan. Thank you.